Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Gabriella. I hope that you're all doing well. In today's video, I will be creating a cute little painting in mixed media and I will also demonstrate how I seal my artworks. I regularly get questions on how I fix my pastel and mixed media artworks, especially in sketchbooks, so I have recorded the process and included it at the end of the video. Also, continuing the series of appreciating art supplies that I have but hardly ever reach for, I will be using this 24 set of Kohinoor watercolors. I have only used it a couple of times before. It has beautiful, vibrant colors, which are dye-based, so I only recommend them for sketchbook art. This is also the first time that I'm trying them out on this bamboo mixed media paper. The reference picture is a royalty-free image from Pexels that I will include in the description in case someone else would like to paint it as well. It's a really cute composition and fairly easy to draw or paint. So this is the color palette for the underpainting. The colors are beautifully saturated. Later on I will add paints gray and another hue of brown too, but for now I'm getting started with these. As you can see, I'm only using paper clips and not masking tape. The reason for that is, this is actually the backside of the bamboo paper that is very smooth and nice but does not take masking fluids or tapes at all. I have very badly damaged paintings before in this sketchbook, so I have just given up on using washi tapes, at least on the back side of this paper. I'm able to apply the second layer without any problem. I'm not experiencing lifting at all. The paint just kind of sinks right into the paper. However, I have to be careful to avoid cauliflower effects, especially in the background. The sap green that comes in this set is just beautiful. I just use it as it is for the most part. I'm only adding in some golden brown here and there, a hue that is very reminiscent of Knakrodon gold. The combination of these two just looks stunning. Thank you.
After the second layer has dried, I'm moving on to colored pencils to add in all the details and create a real mixed media effect. I'm using Durban Colorsoft and Durban Drawing Pencils, both of which are an excellent choice to be used on top of other media. Now that I'm done with the painting, we are outside my apartment and it is time to seal the drawing. I've been using a Renaissance fixative spray for over 3 years now. I'm extremely loyal to this brand. I have tried other fixative sprays in the past, but none of them were as good as this one. I order it online twice a year as it's not available in my local art stores. And I will typically use up around 4 bottles each year, sometimes more depending on how much I paint and what media I use. If you only use watercolors in a piece, it may not be necessary at all, but it's an absolute must for pastels, graphite and colored pencils. Please make sure to use it outside or right next to an open window to not inhale any toxic fumes. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Thank you for watching this to the end. Take care and see you next time. Bye.